Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 12 box Chasing the Cup Hockey Mixer. I accidentally left 11 in there. Uh, we bumped up to 12 because here's what happened. Different from previous, the previous five breaks, we didn't have any more of those Black Diamond um, Certified Diamond Dealer exclusive boxes. So we just added um, so we just added hobby boxes, two of them instead. So it's one extra box, but not the exclusive, just the regular hobby edition. Two of those instead of the one exclusive edition. All card ship, all Kraken cards will be randomized to one person as one lot to one person to break at the end of the video. And this is the sixth and final cup hockey box. That's what was driving this mixer. Big thanks to this group uh, for making it happen. I think I got all the names here. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, and congrats again to the people who won spots in the filler. Let's take out Kraken, and let's roll it and randomize names and teams one and a three. One and a two, three times. One, two, and three. After three times, we got Gerald down to Steve Birch. One and a two, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. After three times, we got Detroit down to the New York Rangers. All right, Gerald with Detroit, Robert with the Jets, Sean with the Panthers, Shea with the Coyotes, Sean with the Flames and Stars, Thomas with the Wild, Peter with the Canadians, Ryan with the Flyers, John with the Devils and the Blackhawks, David with the Canucks, Thomas with the Blues and the Hurricanes, Steve Birch with Mike Kings, David with the Islanders, Jason Kay with the Knights, David with the Senators, Dan with the Avs, Steve Birch, Blue Jackets and Maple Leaves, Blue Teams, Jacob with the Sabres, Thomas with the Capitals, uh, Chris with the Sharks, Robert with the Ducks, Mike Tower with the Bruins, Jay with the Lightning, Robert with the uh, Penguins, Ryan with the Oilers, Gerald with the Predators, and Steve Birch with the New York Hockey Rangers. Let's sort alphabetically by team, and we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we will have the 12-box hockey break. BRB. Hi, welcome back everybody. No deals were done here on a Sunday night. We've got a few people here in the break. They're ready to go. I'm ready to go. Good luck everyone. Steve Birch with Last Spot Mojo with my Kings. Thomas had Last Spot Mojo in that filler. Clear cut two. Got himself the blues. Got himself a spot in the break for a fraction of the price. Got himself the blues. All right, so we're gonna obviously, we're gonna do the base heavier stuff first and then we'll work our way around to the uh, non-base heavier stuff. And of course, the closer for this will be the cup hockey. So this is break number, mixer number six. And each mixer had a box of the cup. Cup's a six box case. You can do the math. Um, so that's the sixth and final box of the case. And I think, I think this is actually box six as well. We're just kind of grabbing random boxes anyway. But it turns out that's also box six. Now for those of you keeping track of these mixers, I know I haven't been, but if you've been keeping track of the mixers, how was cup one through five? Did that cup box have, you could have, you should have, should have, done, should have and could have done your research, but. Let's see what we got. Now, I have to warn you, I am watching more hockey in recent years. Some of you may have seen uh, some of my hockey breaks from years ago where I'm just, where Mark Shifley's name, man, that's a name that would really jam me up. You should find some of those early videos. They're pretty funny. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm absorbing a little more hockey knowledge, but I'm, I can't say that, you know, compared to some of the other sports, Definitely cannot speak to it, so excuse some some mispronunciations and excuse my, my casual hockey knowledge. So you're gonna have to let me know if I end up pulling a monster or not. Now Skybox, we're not really looking. Not the autographs are not too common, but we're definitely looking for anything like that. 
the jambalaya or the uh, PMGs in specific colors. Some colors are lower number than others. That's what we want to see. And um, all cards ship in this as well. So remember, we didn't have the Kraken on the list, so Mark Giordano will represent the randomizer. That's right, Mike Tower. Any hard to pronounce name will just end up being uh, Jaspies. So it would be like Mark, Sh 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 uh, Mark Jaspie. Mark Jaspie. Just roll with that. Connor Mc uh, Connor McJast. And we've got Alex Newhook to one ninety nine. Is that a is that considered a PMG? I don't know. I don't know if it is. I think we still might be able to look that. That just might be a numbered card. That's for the abs. That's for Dan Yu. The cheddar die cut. Well, maybe that was the PMG. It really says on there. All right, that's your first Metal Universe box. Next. While I'm opening these packs, should we, uh, is, there, is there any hockey going on? on? Should we whip around the league? Oh yeah, we've got some, uh, we've got some updates here. Got some updates. The, uh, the 36 and 20 Kraken are having a pretty good, a pretty Kraken season. In overtime, Kraken 3, Avs 2. Another overtime game in Arizona took overtime for the New Jersey Devils to beat the Coyotes. I don't know if Coyotes giving them some trouble, huh? In Vegas, Golden Knights been playing well. They win four to three, beating the Canadiens four three. In Philadelphia, Flyers beat the Red Wings three one. And in Carolina, Hurricanes shutting out the Lightning. Wow. 6 nothing. And Lightning are a pretty good team, too. Offense and defense. That could make the Carolina Hurricanes a scary team in the playoffs. And I think Jonathan Quick made his debut for Vegas tonight. Definitely, definitely will be missed. A legend. Now yeah, he was in the net tonight. I think last night, the guy that he was traded for. Uh, Corpusalo. Corpusalo uh, was minding the net last night in a 4 2 victory for the Kings. Kings have a shot at winning the division. I think that's what they've got. It. They're trying to chase down Vegas.
I was doing a little bit of reading, trying to improve my my knowledge a little bit, at least for my hometown team, the Kings. Um, I guess uh, I guess Corpus Allo was kind of not used as often in Columbus. I think that's where he's from. He was a little little unhappy there. Felt like he could be the main dog on a team. I think there were some like, I think some people were kind of being like, hey, what, uh, is he good? Is he not good? I feel like the, the sample size wasn't really there this season. People weren't too impressed with his save percentage. I guess that, that's a thing people look at. Ooh, I know this guy, Brock Besser. Autographs are few and far between here. Vancouver Canucks. David D. I feel like you, I've been calling your name all night, Dave. Nice. Brock Besser autograph. Nice. But anyway, I think that was reading something in the, in the Athletic that was saying that there were some concerns about his save percentage. But people were thinking maybe it shouldn't be that much of a concern because, because on the flip side of it, the Columbus defense I think wasn't very good, so they were, you know, high volume of shots against. You know, high volume of, of shots were being taken, and of course, you you uh, you allow that many shots, you know, goals are going to go in at some point. But they're thinking with. King's defense being a bigger improvement for him anyway, from team to team. I guess the idea is that with fewer shots, you know, he should have a nicer save percentage, which is what the Kings need. Need some improvements on that. Unfortunately, Quick is having a down year. And the kid that they called up to replace Quick, Philip Phoenix, Phoenix Copley or something like that? who I believe is from North, the North Pole, Alaska, you know, was a longtime AHL, AHL guy who's been performing admirably, but getting the wins. The Kings were looking for maybe a little more experience. A little slight, a little, you know, a little bit of a goalie improvement. It could be the difference in, in, the, uh, in the playoff. And they got... Another uh, defenseman from, apparently, I'm just parroting what articles are saying now, but apparently the Kings needed a, uh, a left-handed defenseman. So, and the rest of the team seems to be looking, looking fine. Some of the youngsters are looking really good. I think adding Fiala in the offseason is really good. Yeah, Spartan saying Boston won their 10th game in a row. What was the what? What's the record again? How many points in a season? Was it hundred and thirty something? We were talking about this the other. I think we were talking about this the last time we were doing this hockey mixer. Yeah, ten in a row. That's wild. No, Minnesota is wild. That's just bananas, bonkers. I mean, it doesn't matter. They're doing it at home. They're 26-2-3 at home. They're doing it on the road, 23-6-2 on the road. They have a plus 105 goal differential. Next closest team, the Hurricanes at plus 57. That's crazy. And then it's New Jersey Devils plus 53 goal differential. Then it drops to Dallas Stars plus 45 goal differential. My Kings are at plus 3 goal differential. So... So they're pretty good. The the other crazy thing, I think we were talking about this too. Some of you may remember, but if you're, if you're just joining us. 
I want to say we were looking at Stanley Cup odds. They were not even close to being a favorite. They're the favorite now. But beginning of the season, I think they were like plus 2,000, plus 25. I think they were like 25 to 1 or something like that. That's Alex Tricot. Oh, I thought that was going to be different. I thought it was going to be numbered. Oh, and an autograph. Shane Pinto. Rookie auto for the Senators. David with Ottawa. You can have my answer now, Senator. Remember Michael Corleone in Reno? I think I was asking a Bruins fan, the Boston Bruins fan, the other week. Or like, well, I mean, now what's... From being a longer shot, the long shot, basically, to the favorite and playing the way you guys are playing. I mean, you know, like, are you happy with what you have now? Or happy with whatever happens, happens? Or... You know, has the line in the sand been redrawn? Has the... <laughs> they're like, yeah, I mean, at this point, you know, it's Boston. So you're playing like this. The line in the sand is totally drawn, redrawn. And, you know, anything less than hoisting the Stanley Cup would be, would be a failure on the season. So we'll see. You know, if you look back, though, the track record for teams... In professional sports, team sports, the track record for teams with the best regular season record the track record of those teams in the playoffs is all has in at least in recent memory has often ended in sad times. Right? I think the Warriors won a zillion games. I think they fell to the Cavs maybe in the playoffs. Right. I mean, I feel like that's that's a huge season for Colorado. 56 wins, 119 points, and they did not make it to the Stanley Cup final. You know, Patriots had that undefeated regular season, didn't win the Super Bowl. Ooh, and a Zach Jones autograph, 12 out of 99. Rangers, Steve Birch. Here, I'll show you all the numbered cards in a second. Let me, there's a lot of them, so we'll breeze through the non-numbered cards first. All right, Brent Burns, Thomas Hurdle, 478 out of 999. That's for the Sharks. That'll be for Chris. Rookie Journey Zegras to 799. We'll go to Anaheim. That'll be for Robert. Dylan Cousins to 499. That'll be for Buffalo, Jacob. Uh, Timo Meyer to 275 for San Jose. That'll be for Chris Parent. A couple Panthers here. That's going to go to Florida. That'll be for Sean. We got Nettle, Nettle Jovich to uh, $8.99. That'll be for Carolina. Thomas, we got Niles Lundquist for the Rangers to two seventy five. dollars That's for Steve Birch. Uh, Nazim Kadri to $8.99. That'll be for the Avs. It's going to go to Dan. Got Ovechkin and Bondra. For Washington, that'll be for Thomas. Then we've got Ross Colton. Exceptional Futures to $8.99. That will be for Tampa Bay. It's going to be for Jay. Right, yeah. Um, uh, I, just, I just mentioned that a few moments ago, Spartan. 
Oh, sorry, we gotta do more synergy. Yeah, Boston's at 49 and eight with 103 points. I was also mentioning how they're, how it's not like their home and away splits are pretty much the same too. 26 wins at home, 23 wins away. <laughs> so it's not like they're just doing it at home or something like that, you know? Doesn't matter where they're playing, they're just, they're just killing it. I think we got, what, 18 games left? Hockey's almost like a basketball season, right? Like 80 some odd games. So it looks like just a little under 20 games left, 18 games left maybe for Boston. You can be breaking records by the time all said and done. Oh, Colorado won. Oh, that's right. They did win the cup last year. So they had the best record. But was it a record-setting record? I guess that's what I'm saying. I don't think that was record-setting, though. I think that was my point. The Patriots' undefeated season, the... The Warriors 73 win season or something like that. Didn't that beat the Bulls record? There's Riley Damiani, uh, 56 out of 99. That'll be for Dallas, Sean Maddock. And then the Patriots perfect season. All right, Max Pack, you ready for the Golden Knights, Vegas? That'll be for Jason K. Jeremy Swayman for Boston. That's going to go to Mike. Brent Burns and Eklund for uh, San Jose. Got Phil Kessel to 199 for Arizona. That's for Shea. Mason McTavish, rookie journey to 499. Uh, that is for Anaheim. That's going to be for Robert. Johnny Gaudreau to 899 for Calgary. That's going to go to Sean. And we got uh, Paterka to 299 for Buffalo. Jacob. We got Dylan Larkin and C.V. Eiserman. That'll be for Detroit. That's going to go to Gerald. Timo Meyer for uh, San Jose for Chris. That's to 899 and to 275. Matthew Kachuk for Car Carolina for Calgary. Sean. All right, another box of synergy. All right, so then we'll work through the three boxes of SP Game Use, the two boxes of Black Diamond, then of course, the Cup Hockey. So who's doing it for the, uh, for the, for the Bruins? Uh, David Pasternak leading his team in points with 84, goals with 44, assists 40. Wow. 44 goals. And then Brad Marchand with 19 goals, 54 points, 19 goals, 35 assists. We got another guy with 50 points already. Kretschke, Kretschke, Kretschke. Patrice Bergeron has 48 points. So on and so forth. Uh huh. And Dan, dancing what? And Ulmark's been a beast in the net. That helps too. That goal differential is just, you know, which I always use in all the sports. I always use like as a mark as a, hey, where is it? Especially like 
you know, like in baseball or or in the NHL, football, NFL too, where you kind of if you kind of look at goal differential, soccer, you know, you can get a lot of. You can kind of see, and you compare that to the rest of the league, and you're like, man. There's one of the guys. That's David Pasternak. He's pretty good. And if that goalie's locked in, you know, stands on his head through the playoffs, I mean, that you can't stop that. All right, there's DeBrincat for Chicago. It's at eight ninety nine. That'll be for John. We got Yegor Shinikov for Columbus. That's going to be for Steve Birch to seven forty nine. We got Vasily. Uh, put Colson, one ping, one ping only for Shelley, to eight ninety nine. That goes to Vancouver. That'll be for David. Patrice Bergeron to seven forty nine. Tricot to nine ninety nine. Bergeron going to Mike Tower in Boston. Tricot going to the Kings. That'll be for Steve Birch. Jonathan Taves going to Chicago to four ninety nine. Brent Burns, Doug Wilson. To eight ninety nine. There's Pasternak right there to two ninety nine for Mike, and another King for out of four forty nine for Steve Birch. Man, so if you think like this is cr it's crazy how good. Breaking news, Connor McDavid is pretty good. So I'm looking at David Pasternak's 44 goals, which is second in the league, right? You know, and I'm looking at, you know, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good, right? He gives him 84 points on, on, so far in the year. And you're like thinking, that's pretty good. And then you look at Connor McDavid, who has 122 points at this point in the season. It's David Favarant to 9.99. Nashville, that's for Gerald. We've got Yu Soros, also for Gerald. We've got authentic rookie autographs. Matthew Phillips for Calgary. It's going to go to Sean Maddock. There's Ed Belfour. Old Blackhawks goaltender. That's going to go to John in Chicago. Chris, uh, no, that's already sold out. Someone saw the 50% off already. That's like, that deal's good enough. And they grabbed it. We're already taking half off. We're not going to give it to you for, for 150. And there's Chicago. That's for John. And there's Sean Monahan to 150. That's for Calgary. That's going to be for Sean. But, hey, I like the boldness of your offer. <laughs> I like the boldness of your offer. Got to shoot your shot, Chris. Hmm, Jaspi's already giving me 50% off. Let's see if I can get another 50% off that. And it's authentic rookies. Cole Perfetti for Winnipeg. There's Sebastian Ajo to 205. Thomas, Carolina. Uh, and there's Brandon Duhame. Duhame? 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 
for Minnesota. That's going to be for Thomas. I mean, they can negotiate Joe Pizzle. They can negotiate. <laughs> I won't negotiate. There's Nicholas Lidstrom, Red Wings. That's going to go to Detroit, Gerald. Matthew Kachuk, Carolina. That's going to go to Sean Maddox. And Alexi Lafreniere for the Rangers. It's going to go to Steve Birch. All right, final, uh, final SP game used box. Two boxes of black diamond, and then the good stuff. The I mean, it's all good stuff, but cop hockey is definitely another level. So let's see what we got in there. Riley Damiani to $9.99. And we've got a Jeremy Swayman for Boston to $9.99. And a uh, authentic rookies, two color jersey and autograph. Jesse uh, Ilonen, I'm going to go with that. One out of 49. Canadiens, that'll be for Peter. I hope he's a good rookie. Not only is he authentic, I hope he actually plays well too. It goes, there's Joe Sackett for Colorado. That's going to go to Dan. And there's Banner Year, Ryan O'Reilly for the St. Louis Blues, Thomas. I guess that's why they call it the Blues. And Max Pacioretty, Purity. That cool laser cut punch outs right there too which I think is kind of cool that'll be for Vegas that'll be for Jason K all right black diamond Three forty nine, Braden Point, Tampa Bay, J. We got Diamond Debut Relics, Ross Colton, twenty four out of forty nine. That will be for J. Goins in Tampa Bay. We got Rookie Team Logo Jumbos, Trevor Zegras. Nice. It's a manufactured patch, but they still, still look pretty cool. Anaheim. That'll be for Robert. We got Cole Caulfield. Diamond cutters for Montreal. That will be for Peter. And to 249, Elias Lindholm for Calgary. That's going to go to Sean Maddock. And the exquisite card, Spencer Knight, 77 out of 99 for Florida. That's going to go to, go to Sean Maddock. Don't say that. I mean, don't say that if he's in the chat. You meant, you meant Oregon Ducks. Right? Not Anaheim Ducks. Pizzle, you might you might catch some hands if uh, if Jason hears you say stuff like that. Alright, next box, next box. Got Soros to 349. Nashville, Gerald. We got Brent Burns, 5 out of 25. Sparkling Scripts autograph. I don't know if you remember Joe Pizzle. Remember the time when uh, 
we were we were breaking at the the All Star Game was here in L.A. a few years ago, maybe four years ago at this point. And then um, we they who was I think it was Upper Deck. They get, they they hooked us up with a table, or maybe one of our distributors hooked us up with a table there, and we were like ripping open hockey and stuff like that at the you know fan fest area. And they got I think Upper Deck or the distributor got a guest for us, or both. They got a, got a guest for us, and it was a I forget who it was, but it was a shark. Obviously, we're big Kings fans here in there. I'm like, oh. <laughs> he was cool, though. Jason was happy. Um, Connor McDavid, just any player to hang out with us was awesome. Connor McDavid. These have, like, these weird die cuts here that make it hard to... put into a sleeve. I'm just going to put it into slider box. Connor McDavid, Edmonton Oilers. You've got these weird points right there that, that make it weird, but. Next couple, we got Diamond Debut Relics Cole Caulfield for the Habitant. That goes to Peter. Yeah, it was really cool. I, it, it was, there's Dawson Mercer. And then it, it was one of our, I think it, for me it was a day off. For me, and it was a Jason's work day, and so he was obviously he knows hockey the best out of all of us. There's 81 out of 399 swim and exquisite collection for Boston. That's for Mike, Mike Tower. But I popped down there to visit, and it was really cool. We uh, I think after after we worked the shift, you got to go around. You um, there was like um, like little bay set up where you can hit slap shots. Which was really cool. And, I, I, and there was like the the ones where you see at the uh, at the skills competition, they'll they'll have like a target there, there, and like there or whatever. Like shoot at the targets, and there was like fastest puck kind of. Will measure the time of your the speed of your your shot and everything. It's pretty cool. I'd like to think I don't I don't know if my speed was up there, but I feel like my accuracy was pretty was was pretty good if I do say so myself. All right, good luck everybody. A lot of a uh, lot of roller hockey growing up, Joe Pizzle. A lot of a lot of street hockey, a lot of roller hockey. Out of 249, Kevin Fiala. This is Minnesota Wild Edition. Oh yeah, I played I played every sport. I love playing sports. I'm not very good at it, but but I'll play it. There's Thomas with the Wild. There's rookie auto patch, Josh Norris. 183 out of 249. I feel like we had a in high school we had a pretty good physical education program. Actually, I'll tell you what it is now that I think about it. It's all coming back to me. Ottawa Senators, David D. So playing um, playing JV doubles, tennis, that's how good I was. Um, I was able to, more penny sleeves here. I was able to take what they called an advanced PE class or something like that. 
you know, and it was usually like six period or the final period. And it's usually for like real athletes will just usually take that off and we'll go to soccer practice or football practice or whatever. But for everyone else, like it was for kids who needed a little more athletic stimulation. Right. So it was like, so they, so each, each like quarter or however they broke down our school year would, uh, would be just a different sport. One year they'll be like, Hey, try water polo when like the, the spring summer and we play water polo. And we'll just swim around and play water polo. One year it'd be like, hey, let's play tennis. One year, let's, hey, let's run track events. And here's how to here's how to run a relay. And here's how to hand off batons. Like it was sort of like that. Which was actually kind of awesome looking back on it. 36 out of 50. Uh, David, per David Perron for the St. Louis Blues. So yeah, so... We got to, we got to do that for kids who want to play more a little more organized PE. Nice lamp lighters, Bo and Byron, Avs, Dan. So played a lot of games. This is pretty cool, Dan. I like these. It's die cut, nice gold ink auto that really pops. Really nice. Couple more here. I think these are relic and a card. Quad relic. Connor McMichael. Different Connor. Going to the caps. That'll be for Thomas. Is that a nice one? Nice. Good. If you're happy, I'm happy. Thanks for staying up late with me, Dan. And the last one here is Mike Richter. 184 out of 249. Classic. All-time alum. I remember this guy. Steve Birch and the Rangers. All right, there you go, boys and girls. Thanks everybody for getting into the uh, to all six of the Chasing the Cup hockey mixers. Thanks for chasing the cup with us. Uh, if we find more cup hockey, we'll load up more cup hockey. Keep an eye out for that. All right, now let's see who gets all of those uh, Kraken cards. Name on top. One and a five, six times. Name on top after six. One, two. Three, four, five, and six. Mike Tower. After six times, you'll get those uh, Seattle Kraken cards going away. I didn't. I don't think I called your number too often during the break, Mike. But I appreciate you getting in. Thanks. Uh, and thank you, everybody. Thanks for chasing the cup with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next hockey break. Bye bye.